to but uh so i'm going to continue on with this build here uh this is the the franken build that's it's going to be a mixture of parts what i want to see today is if i can get the pioneer throttle handle to fit on here because i think that'd be more fitting with what kind of build this is. However, I'll make sure I have parts for that throttle handle. Another fuel. Hmm, that's not looking good, but even if a, if a home light one would fit or even make it fit, it looks so close. So close yet so far. That's shops are hoping that would fit. Uh, huh. That'll be too bad if I can't find the other parts of the throttle handle. But I might just jerry rig it. I mean, who cares, right? It's a, this build is for nothing but fun. cylinder, which I could have put on here, because they do fit. The only problem with putting a Pioneer cylinder on, you need the Pioneer muffler, because the home light ones do not line up, which I do not have. I've got the on and off switch for that Pioneer. Super mini, I wonder if that would somehow nope. Nope. So I'm gonna pause you guys for a bit. I'm gonna take a look around the uh cluster fuck here and see if I can find that piece. Well, I could not find the other part of the pioneer, so we're just gonna call that a big no. Use the drive case. If anyone needs like random home light parts for these things, like XL12s and shit, like I'm, I'm not giving up anything like cylinders and stuff. But if you need like a throttle handle, like I got the parts. Just, I mean, it's not much for me to send one to somebody if somebody needs something. I have a bunch of super easy parts here too, but I also want to hang on to it. I, I didn't close the motor seal. That's awesome. One second, guys. Okay, I am back. Sorry, it's just kind of a weird day because we're kind of packing for holidays today. It's our last weekend before then, so let's get some stuff done. Okay, so here's what I don't know what I'm going to do about because the oiler issue. And there will be an oiler issue. I gotta find some kind of fitting to put in there. I'm sure I got something. See, because I don't have copper lines I want to spare for this, I think, um... I'm actually going to run some rubber lines, like some fuel line for the oiler. It'll work. It's not gonna work great. That's not very fitting either. God dang it.
This one should work. There we go. The oil lines after this way too. Yeah, there's some missing pieces, so I gotta. That is a concern because we do need oil. We need the garbage bill. I still want to actually you know, operate properly. That preferred. Like always, I'm blissfully unprepared for doing this. Three eighths wrench. I don't even know if this throttle lever is off. It's off a Super XL or a XL12. They're pretty much similar. They're the same, I should say. They are similar. Uh, there is one small difference, but we won't get into that. Okay, so we got this throttle handle on. There's a goop there. Get some good old mono seal. I'm almost out of mono seal. I really need to go get some more. It's crap. It would help if I didn't leave it, keep leaving it open. So sealed. Goes on like that. That. It fits. Surprise, surprise. And now I need some fasteners in there. Use these guys. You know, I love home lights, I really do, uh, but after working on like more modern saws for the last while, you might start playing this together like, oh, so there's some things that I find a little annoying on these old home lights compared to some newer designs. But then again, really the chainsaw industry, I don't think really found itself until later on, you know what I mean? More. I guess I do need a longer one there. Okay, uh, that's a medium sized one. Okay, that uh, should be all good. Tighten this guy up. This is being doing a little bit of this every day. I'm not, it's. I actually have a lot to do. I gotta get uh, ribs on the smoker here pretty soon. It's, uh, it's actually a warmer day. It's going to get up to just slightly above freezing. That's a good time to use the smoker because I bought an electric one. I used to have an offset one that you constantly had to babysit. Um, the electric one, it's in this weather, works great because the uh, heater element comes on more often. So it uh, creates more smoke and makes better smoke rings. But... That's all i got to say about that. Okay, now, bottom bolts are always a pain in the ass when you put these on. Especially when you can't find stuff that you need, which seems to happen to be a lot lately. There we go. Yeah, and there's that. I was looking for that. Anyways. Said before, and one thing I do dig about home light, these older home lights compared to older pioneers and um, McCulks and some other brands is the the screw heads. So you can use a flat blade, but you can also use a 5/16 nut driver, or a wrench, or 8 millimeter because they are the exact same thing. Okay, so we have the nut carburetor, or sorry, throttle handle, carburetor, it's not going to come today. I gotta find some parts, because so all the carburetors I have are kind of in parts right now, so. Which isn't a big deal, tilts and HS carbs are pretty 
pretty easy to pop back together. But we need ignition. That's one thing we do need. This one. No, it's someone. Put your ignition cable through there. There's a little clip on home lights to keep it in place. And this one's already got an old one on it, so I don't know what the hell is up with that. Okay. there. These just twist on, if you don't know. These old Wicko, I don't know if it's Wicko or Wico or whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay, so I need a felt washer. I mean, he's used one because I don't want anything new. I said garbage bill. The only new parts on here are the piston rings. And even with those, I, I don't know how well this is going to work. Okay. Let's get that cinch down. These, uh, we co coils. One thing I don't like about them is the adjustment. Cause you kind of gotta have it adjusted before you get the flywheel on, you know what I'm saying? And that's a little annoying. Like, it's not hella annoying, but nonetheless, it is a little annoying. Okay. We have ignition. Well, wait, I'll check it because, I said, if you don't get these things, they can be picky sometimes. I don't need a long one for that. Thread. So Home White uses number 12 screws, which that, that's fine, um, but if you're looking for replacements, that can be a challenge sometimes because uh, at least the places I go for fasteners that we go through to work, like Edmonton Nut and Bolt and Edmonton Fasteners, they typically don't have number 12 machine screws. Why? I think they're obsolete because too close to 3 16 I guess. Okay, so that, let's see if we get something in that hole. If it doesn't belong in that hole, I'll try to stuff it in. One thing when you do base gasket deletes on these, sometimes this back hole on the uh, ignition doesn't line up very well. Sometimes it does. You can just ream it out, but I'm just using a screw that doesn't belong in there because that does work too, believe it or not. Just keeps it in place. Okay, we need on the wheel to fly. Looks alright. Okay. Nothing's rubbing. I don't think. That's a That's from fucking screws, Jesus Christ. Where did you come from? That's what's making my god awful racket. So, just back on. Oh my god. Not one thing, it's another. Okay. I'm gonna find a little nut for this guy. Okay, I gotta find the correct enough for that guy. Close to the 516s. 
to make this easier instead of pulling the screen off I'll just um, you know, find allen keys or whatever that fit in the holes here and just keep the uh, starter pole holes engaging okay so I got the ignition on the flywheel on um, Test this to just see if it has spark because that's kind of an important thing. Uh, spark plug out. Spark plug's not going in there. I, just, I don't know what the hell the spark plug's from. Probably like a Chev 350 or something. That plug's in the straight in the garbage actually because it appears hands like It's an 11 16, so that belongs in the car or maybe a four stroke or a lawnmower. Who knows? Either way, I can go ahead. It's, it's much more suitable. Get this recoil on, make sure it's not spurt. Through me there for a second. Uh, let's turn the spark plug that way so you guys can see. So, one thing I've noticed with um, like home lights, well, any point saws, um, they just seem to. Uh, great spark at such a low RPM like when you're pulling the throttle where you, or pulling the starter rope whereas you take um, uh, electronic ignition saws it seems to take a lot more uh, speed for them to uh, make spark I don't know if you know I'm talking about you guys oh yeah I know what you're talking about otherwise I just sound like an idiot right now which it's not too far from the truth okay I'm gonna do a compression chest for the Test on this movie. Now this is probably not going to go in all the way, so it's going to be a kind of a half-ass compression. But as long as I'm getting over, you know, 110 psi, that's fine for a garbage build, right? It's only getting 90, but I could probably tighten this up a little more because it feels. Yeah, it's not seated. That's why I'm close to seated all the way. So I'm not going to be able to get an accurate compression test because my compression tester sucks ass. Yeah, it'll be fine. It's going to run. It feels like it has decent compression. So it is what it is. I guess really this, this recoil can go on. I got some junkier recoils, but they are not all together. Uh, you know, like this is a giveaway saw, who knows? Who would want this? Let's see if I got a kill switch wire somewhere. I 
uh, pill switch wire handy, so we're just going to leave it out. We can choke it out to stop it. I'll be curious to see if this thing runs out. Okay, why are you being pulled out? What is going on in there? Happened. Yeah, I don't know if that was all about. But we won't worry about it. That didn't happen. It's garbage built, right? It's just to get run. Like I said, this cylinder, uh, if it doesn't run, it's because it's cylinder. The cylinder and that other one, the garbage cylinders, are absolutely pooched. But that's the way I wanted to go with the saw, so it is what it is. Uh, like I said, I got to put a carburetor together for this, um, which I might do later. Like I said, I got a lot of crap to do, guys, so we're not leaving for a while yet, but not till later in the week, but still, we both have jobs and we work, so, you know, it is what it is. I have responsibilities. Can't be playing with chainsaws all the time, unless I win the lottery, then I can. Spark plug in. I just want to get a feel for the compression. So the gauge is not reliable in this case. But we got spark. Hopefully, we have enough compression. So I give it some fuel, and it will be a functional saw. I mean, that's by no means great, but I don't see why it would not run. I've had XL12s with less compression. Okay, so that's as far as I'm gonna go. Ah, maybe I'll see if I can find a clutch. Okay. 